Welcome, thank you for joining me. I plan to use this platform to do self-reflection on the life lessons that I should be learning. In my ex's haste to move away, he left behind a beautiful brown instrument. The ukulele. And I saw the ukulele over there in its case and I couldn't bear knowing that such a beautiful instrument was not getting the attention that it deserved. And so I decided to sign up and take ukulele lessons and that was my way of turning a bad situation into a positive situation. Did you have music in school like band or chorus or anything like that growing up? Okay. No. That's all right. Um, this is our musical alphabet down here. Okay. And uh, basically the way to think about it, here, let me, I'll wait on that a second, is when we're tuning, we want to obviously tune to those pitches, but there's obviously also a bunch of other notes in there right. too. So our musical alphabet goes from A to G, but we have these little guys called sharps and flats. I'm sure you've kind okay. of heard about yeah. them. They're the equivalent there's to like the black this. keys right. on the piano, uh -huh. right? So. Right. As we move through the alphabet, our alphabet starts on A. We have A sharp, but depending on what key we're in, and we'll get to that down the road, we might alternately call it B flat. Okay. So think of the equivalent of where the white keys are side by side. Okay. So right, right there, that's E and F on the piano, and the okay. next set over would be B and C. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's just kind of a visual equivalent there, but Good. that's what's going on okay. with that. Okay. So I'm going to tune you. G is the far the first one, right? Up on top. Yep. Okay. So G. Where is this last one? Follow it one? down. It'll be that one right there. Yep. Okay. And just it's small oh, increments. There we go. Yeah, it's such a short scale instrument. You barely have to turn them to there get the result. There we go. There you go. Okay. A, All right. A. Okay, first string, okay, but bottom. Yep. We I'm getting up, those mixed yeah, up. It's I'm, easy to do. But, you know, if I, if, if years ago when this was all being put together, I would have mm -hmm. put one, two, three, right. four. Right, and that's how I'm doing but it, that's but it's not. not what it is. So yeah, the so closest one to me is four. four right. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be that finger's job. That's their job. Okay. Yep. This is where he lives. Exactly. This is Unless his house. Some chords, you know, like the G7, you might have two guys. But when we're playing single note melodies Right, this like is this. where he lives. Exactly. Right here. He lives right here. Why are my fingers men? <laughs> <laughs> okay. She, the exactly. queen is here. There here, you go. here. Okay. All, All right. right. I got it. For the one. But this you have your chord is ready. Your land. There you go. This land is my land from Cala. Born. Born, <laughs> To the New York Island from the Redwood. To the Gulf Stream water. This land was made for you and me. You, you did okay. pretty well for now. Okay. All right. So, so let me see where from, your fingers. I'll play, in fact, I'll play these last two measures. Okay, I'm going to watch so. you. Go into the next string over, third fret on that string, and then oh. right back. Oh, okay, okay. I like watching your fingers instead of these lines. Okay. So, oh, okay. My mind is. It's just. It's a. Uh, it. Yeah. You'll get it. Everybody does. It's just. Okay. We did. Okay. Here we go. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños. Alright people, let's go, let's go. It's volleyball night. We're playing um, co-ed 
and I played volleyball in high school and I loved it. I was hoping I would get an athletic scholarship to college in volleyball and I did get some offers but to, not to the schools that I wanted and um, so that's unfortunate but I did get a scholarship, full ride scholarship for track and field and so I ended up going to Oklahoma University and then I had walked on the volleyball team at uh, Oklahoma and um, I only was on there for one season because my track and field scholarship um, they were worried that if I got hurt in volleyball then I wouldn't be able to compete in track and so there was um, they, they did come and tell me they're like you got to choose one and I was like well even though volleyball is where my heart is uh, the money is with track and field but so that's how that worked out um, just want to give a shout out to uh, all my coaches volleyball track and field I know that um, I played basketball too in high school I was voted most athletic or something like that but it all has to do with my um, like I said my kinesthetic learning I I like movement I like um, I can learn by moving and so um, I probably had a touch of ADD just just about that much but it was manageable through sports and so anyways we're getting ready to go into the Kiwanis Recreation Center. Let me show you. We're in Tempe, Arizona, right behind me. You see that? Yeah, the local hangout. Anyways, come on, let's go. I learned a lot about life from playing volleyball, like being honest and admitting I was in the net. Serving taught me how to focus and show initiation and by being flexible and improvising, I'm able to use my left hand to hit it over. I can support my teammates through options by setting or a bump pass. And sometimes I just really need to get it over the net. Other times, all I can do is stick my hand out and hope it goes over. Volleyball taught me how to communicate strategy with my teammates. And it also feels really good to block an opponent. And then celebrating and offering encouragement when a play is well done. You know, there's a lot of good life lessons that you can uh, gather from playing sports. Whether it's an individual sport or a team sport. And one of the things that I found with track and field competing at Oklahoma University um, was that the individual events really um, pushed me to uh, improve on myself but I still had the support of the team and I had um, been recruited as a quarter miler running that 400 um, straight out of high school however <laughs> once I got to um, the collegiate level um, I was more useful as a heptathlon or excuse me a heptathlete and compete in the heptathlon because at that level uh, they recognized that I could get points for the team I could place but there wasn't any one sport that I dominated in excuse me, event. There wasn't one event that I dominated in. And so the heptathlon just worked out naturally for me because um, if I came in third in the 800 and um, second in the long jump, um, maybe first in the high jump and then fifth in the 110 hurdles, I still could win that event because the points were collective. Um, so I was the utility person. Um, I didn't specialize in any one thing. I was able to compete in the jumps, in 
um, the sprints, the middle distance 800. Um, and I think back to that time and uh, it, there's a lot of good memories being able to train with different coaches like the jumps coach or the sprints coach or the middle distance coach. Um, they all were able to uh, bring out the best in me by um, you know tailoring the workouts for what my strengths were and so I'm so very appreciative for the coaches that uh, poured into me that um, really saw my potential and I am thankful that I was able to experience um, competition on that level because it translates to life lessons I tell you what um, I, <laughs> there are so many times that I have used an athletic or a sport uh, rule that um, has helped me through a life problem. And so I am, I, again, I just am so grateful for sports. And so thank you to my coaches. Thank you to um, my teammates. My goodness, um, they were my family. Like I said, when I was in foster care um, during my high school years, that my friends were my family. And so I have a lot of brothers and sisters out there in this community. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Uh, I know right now it doesn't look like I'm, <laughs> you know, surviving or striving, um, but I carry you with me in my heart um, through the tough times now as an adult. Thank you. I'm curious to hear what life lessons you think will apply. There are no wrong answers. Here's mine.